Have you ever dreamed of living in a world filled with Pokemon? Hi, I'm Aiden, I run this channel, and I have the same dream, which is why I took the gameplay of Pokemon Go and brought it out in Mixed Reality on the Quest 3. And now, I'm gonna show you how I did it using Unity. Watch to the end of the to see a group deal. To get started, I hit up Models Resource to check if there were some free available models, but none of them were really hitting the quality I wanted. I knew I had to jump into Blender, because I really wanted this to look like the anime that I grew up watching. The games didn't really show the inside detail of the Pokeballs. Because when you're in VR, it's so much more immersive to see the details of the object that you're holding. Part 1, the Pokeball. Ooh, and there's those interior details. And there it is, a complete Pokeball. You can actually get it right now on my Sketchfab page. Part 2, the Pokedex. Actually, oh. I need that cube. There we have it, it's the next morning. My coffee's done, I start to fantasize about catching my cat in a Pokeball, yeah. how cool would that be? But now it's time to get it into Unity and make this thing real. Part three, get it in Unity. At this point, I was having so much fun, I forgot I didn't even have Pokemon uh, to catch. So I asked GPT for the most common Pokemon types, and then I searched models of resource and found amazing Pokemon models. These models already came with animations, and they even played in the file browser. I had some issues on import as expected, but I was able to fix them up and get them animated, and they look so cool. One of my favorite aspects about the Pokedex is how it talks. So I generated a voice in Eleven Labs, processed it in FL Studios to make it sound more like a cheap LCD toy. Rattata, the mouse Pokemon. I then made a script that takes the audio information and translates it into a particle effect. The force of its attack sometimes chips its teeth. And then I spent the next hour just polishing up the last bits of the Pokedex and Pokeball. Part 4, build the map. I want this experience to feel like a real adventure. I want to walk through the yard and through the woods and into different places and have it feel like the Pokemon belong in those places. I really wanted it to feel like the show where you stumble onto a creature and you have to learn about it and catch it. And the only way to really accomplish this is by creating a large map. So I used the app Polycam on my phone to make a path through the yard. And once I had the map in Unity, I could begin placing content on it. Think of it like a real world canvas where now you can put your AR content on top of it. Part five, time to play. Okay guys, it's finally time to test. I'm going outside now, I'm getting my headset on, and we're about to see some Pokemon. All right, I finally made it outside. First up is Rattata. I see him behind a tree, so I'm gonna crash behind this bush. And it is so cool to hear the Pokedex right now. All right, so I'm gonna ready my Pokeball now and give it a toss. It's just like a baseball throw, and got him! So that's first Pokemon down, Rattata. They look so cool inside their Pokeball here. And now I'm gonna make my way to the woods, because I I believe Metapods uh, should be here. And look at that, a group of Metapods. I'm gonna make my way closer. The cocoon Pokemon. A metapod is virtually and again, it's of so cool to hear the Pokedex talking. All it can do is harden its outer shell while it awaits evolution. All right, little talk. And Pokemon number two, called a metapod. 
two of five. Okay, so my Pokedex isn't really going off in this region. I don't think there's any Pokemon around. Charizard is the coolest Pokemon. It is my favorite Pokemon. It's breathing fire right now. Charizard, it's so the cool. Pokemon. Charizard's fire burns hotter if it has experienced harsh battles. Give a give a toss and caught my first Charizard. Pick it up. Look how cool that looks in there. I'm gonna keep that forever. That is Pokemon number three. I hear my Pokedex going off around this garage. I think Hunter is hiding in here. And there he is. All right, and just a little toss of the Pokeball. And we caught Hunter. That's Pokemon number four of five. So we have one left. We have Pidgey. I know where they are. I saw them earlier. They're in the yard. And it's so funny to see a Pokemon at their normal scale. A tiny bird it's really Pokemon. just a bird. It is it's just a foot tall. But just give it a toss. And that's Pokemon number five. I've just completed my Pokemon trainer journey. And that's it. Guys, that was so much fun. If you want to catch part two, make sure to like this video and subscribe. And if you want to see your favorite Pokemon in the next video, make sure to comment its name below. I'm adding every single one I see. Thanks.